So it's the 19th of April, or April 19th, whichever date format you guys go by, I don't know. But there's a rumour circulating online that we should be receiving a Resident Evil... No, a Silent Hill 2, sorry. A Silent Hill 2 trailer soon. I'll, I'll be excited if we do receive one soon. That game got announced, the remake, got announced, I think it was about two years ago now. Go? Yeah, about two years ago, and obviously it's one of the most loved games of all time. Not even just horror, just one of the most loved games of all time, so it'll be nice to be able to play that this year. There have been rumoured dates and alleged leaks, oh shit! Alleged leaks that basically it's going to release around about September time, which if it does, I'm happy for that because PlayStation... Apart from Stellar Blade, doesn't really have anything lined up. Oh, uh, shit! No! Get back, bitch. I'm also hoping we receive more information on the Metal Gear Solid 3 remake as well, because that's been a good a good while since we've actually heard anything about that. We've got the initial trailer, and then we got some other slight trailer where we got to see the main menu. Which, they've changed up the main menu, which it, it's taken away from it, in fact, so... I know that concerned a lot of fans saying of the Sand Hill 2 remake, e even the, the title menu changing, because... Metal Gear Solid has a lot of stuff Just iconic it. for it. Oh, what was that shot? Metal Gear Solid has so much iconic things throughout that series, and... The Metal Gear Solid 3 re uh, well, Metal Gear Solid 3... The title screen, when it changes colours and it's Big Boss, or at that time, he wasn't called Big Boss. Naked Snake doing a load of um, CQC. Very iconic, and that theme tune is just awesome. Oh god, someone's going to pop up now, aren't they? Reminds me of RE2 Remake when you're going through the sewers. That part was annoying, especially if, if you've never played the game before. It's super annoying. I struggled with that section. Going back through it on Inferno difficulty when you've got a rocket launcher is so much easier though because you don't realise how easy the game is when you get a rocket launcher in Resident Evil 2. Hey, sounds like a bit of commotion going on. Okay, more parts, more green gel. Reach for the sky! No, bad taste? Eh, bad taste I guess. I don't know why he's opened the door slowly, coming out of the room, because it's not a new area. Uh, do we jump down there? Let's go. Let's uh, let's go for the shotgun, yeah. Shotgun. Here we go, baby. Hang on. Oh no. Oh no. Oh no. They're gonna... They're gonna... Ah, uh, damn it. Surprise, motherfucker. Ah, shit. Oh, Jesus! Oh, that's right, really? Surprise, motherfucker! Right. Uh, oh, okay. Maybe because we blow off their head with the shotgun, there's no option to actually... Sebastian. Bend them? Bitch! Yeah, th there's no option to burn them, unless... Ah, maybe I've just run out of matches. Out of ammo. Oh, shit! Okay, uh, flash bolt, no, no, explosive bolt, here we go. Let's go, baby. Ease up, Freddy. Are you guys alright? We're alright. Just a few bumps, we're fine. If I missed that target, then I would have been disappointed because that was a big target. Come here, dude, let me heal ya. Kisses. Still crazy that's the the sister, Deborah Morgan from Dexter. I mean she was also in Oh, hang on. If you hadn't come along. What's he whispering? What are you doing there, it motherfucker? Like the locked from the other side. Sebastian, maybe we can lift this enough for Kidman to go under and open it from the other side. We're counting on you. Alright. <laughs> Let's get going. 
Let's roll out, King. We should go. Mm. Oh, oh! <laughs> it's just particles in the air. I'm glad you're both all right. It's odd, though. Why would they catch you instead of just killing you? Maybe he didn't see me as a threat. He. Oh God. Here we go, guys. No. Not this bitch. Oh no. Another one of those doors. You know what? Even though the lantern does help illuminate the area, I like how dark and gloomy it looks without the lantern, so I'm gonna try actually, you know, not use the lantern for a bit and see where it gets us. Ooh, sexy mannequin. Let's look at the boobies. Hobba hobba. Another journal entry, so Detective Sebastian and Detective Myra Hansen joyfully request to pleasure your company at the wedding celebration. The 17th of September 2005. Okay, half past 12, Vedana Hotel, Crimson City. Reception to follow. Well, I hope it was a lovely reception, mate. You deserve it. Right, nothing else in here is a no. Now, I'm not sure how many... Oh. Have you forgotten something? Have you forgotten these hands, bitch? No, I don't need to save yet. Do, 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 do. Yeah, uh, oh, only 2,600. Mm. We're gonna have to choose what to spend it on wisely then. Okay, let's look at our abilities. So, life gauge, can't do that yet. No. Uh, melee damage, yeah. I've not really had to use the melee in this yet. I mean, it could come back to bite me on the ass, but reload time, clip book capacity, accuracy. The accuracy, I don't think it actually helps, if I'm being honest. It, it doesn't really help. Uh, doo -doo 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 -doo. Hmm. Stock. Stock are probably the most handy. Maybe not then. Hmm. Reload time or clip capacity? You know what? I I'll try accuracy. I don't think it will actually help that much. I I'll have to have a look. I think it just makes the reticule smaller, which, you know, isn't. See, yeah. It just makes the reticule smaller. That that's what I've noticed anyway. It doesn't really help your, your aim or anything like that. Alright. Missing parishioner found in mental hospital. These claims are absolutely outrageous. Parishioner Fernando Cabrera, missing for eight years, found committed in Beacon Mental Hospital, claims the parish was cult. So I don't know if that guy is Ruvik or if maybe Ruvik's backstory is purely in collectibles. I hope it's not because if it's such a character that's supposed to be the big bad, I don't want to have to depend on focusing on finding collectibles just to find out a bit about the character. Now don't get me wrong, obviously some collectibles they do add to the lore and it is, you know, kind of cool. But you don't want to have to depend on them in order to find out stuff about characters. No, I know which part's coming up. Hang on, let's break this. Didn't mean to do that. Now I've just covered myself in piss. <laughs> Jesus, I illuminate quite a bit when I'm wet. Oh, and that's what I needed. Okay, so going down here, don't know. No, I'm, I'm positive that's... I am absolutely positive that is where the boss lady is. Hang on. Let's see if that alerts anyone. It's got over alerted someone. Someone here, there. Anyone? Someone's got to have heard that. No. Fuck you guys. Okay, here we go. Oh, oh shit! No, 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 no,
Holy shit, man. That was so lucky. Wow. Okay, they can't jump down here. <laughs> that was so lucky. Wow. I don't know why they didn't die in that point. Oh, hello. Great boys. Gonna find some juicy stuff, guys. See, it doesn't hurt to explore. Okay. Now it's saying we are full on ammo, but I beg to differ. Let's reload this. A thank you. A thank you. See, we could have lost out on six bullets then. Oh god, okay. Okay, nope. <laughs> and more green gel. A thank you. Oh, really? Normally the bigger the jar for the green gel. Well, the green sperm. Normally the bigger the jar, the more you get, and that, that was a fairly large jar. Whoa! Tell you what, the hair physics are... They're pretty neat. I think maybe it's just a, a few bunched layers. Oh god, okay. Am I gonna get hit again? No, okay. No, it is gonna be shotty too hotty time with this. Absolutely shotty too hotty time. Oh, really, bitch? No. Oh, come on. That is so not fair. Motherfucker. Really? Yeah, you win some pain. Oh, yeah. Okay, so yeah, as long as you blow their head off, it should be okay not burning them. Oh. Oh! That was lucky. Okay, please don't make the mannequins come alive. That is one thing I ask. The only thing I ask, do not make the mannequins come alive. Is Yeah, there's no fear for traps up here, okay. Oh god, oh god. Oh! I'm sweating like a bitch. Oh, this feels so sludgy. I know a bot's coming. <laughs> Just wanted. Oh, fuck! Really? No. Stay back, bitch. Fire seems to work. Yep, fire does work, but... Oh, no. Guys, you do not realise how much I've been dreading this path. If I fail... Oh! Where the fuck did they take that? I, I can hear it flapping about, but I can't see it. Hang on, let, let me... Oh! <laughs> Look at it! Let's try and get this bitch. Probably shouldn't waste a bullet on it, but here we go. Hang on, let's... Oh, damn it. Oh! One more time. No, okay, that doesn't count. Oh, okay, yeah, let's give up. Oh, you know what? Really? That's going to be our favour, I reckon. I reckon that's going to work the most explosive bolts. Here's the boss fight, guys. It all comes down to this. One of the most tense moments in the game. Personally, to me, this is going to be horrible. Let's go, bitch. Oh, wow. Okay. Okay. That was... That was what I was afraid of. So you're supposed to lead her in there and press on the lever. Oh god, okay. 
Okay. So I've, I think I know what to do now. <laughs> that was over so quickly. Oh no, 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 no. Here we go, bitch! See that, motherfucker! That is her dad, isn't it? Please say it is. Wait, what? That's not her dad yet. How many times am I gonna have to do it? Sweet Jesus. It's, it's gonna be three times, isn't it? I'm gonna have to do it. Oh, oh, oh praise the Lord. Oh, oh. Guys, you do not understand how much I've been dreading that part. You know, think of the scariest moment in any game. Multiply by 10. Have yourself sweating like... And then... Multiply by 10 again. You know what that is? I've been... Since thinking about replaying the series that is the part I've been dreading the most because I know how much I struggled with it initially and it just seemed so daunting having to go through that again I was dreading absolute everything about it but it seems that it was pretty straightforward I mean we only died the once which uh, you know I'm not complaining about that the fact we died sucks I think that is our that's our first death in the game. That's our first death in the game, yeah. We're nearly halfway through the game, that's our first death. Okay. Oh! Go home. Go home. Subject's case history cites developmental delays. Indicates issues with communication. Social cognition. Repetitive behaviors. Signs of synesthesia reported. Genealogy suggests increased susceptibility to external stimuli. Pattern adaptiveness. Could you be what I've been searching for all these years? And under my own nose. Unbelievable. There can be no mistake. This one is compatible. Oh, what the fuck? What in the hell? Oh, really, bitch? Really? You want to do this now? Oh, hang on, hang on, hang on. Electrocute the water? Really? You couldn't think outside the box and do that? You know what? Shotty too hot here it is, guys. Let's go, bitch. Oh, wow. Okay, new kill animation. Let's go. There goes your head. Right, one more left. Pretty sure there is. Oh, Jesus. Um. Right, he's trapped. Right, let's get let's get rid of him because I think maybe it's a time sequence. Here we go. Oh shit! Ah! Oh, that that felt like a really long chapter to be honest. So I'm gonna end that part here, guys, because that was a juicy enough chapter, and I feel like it's it's leading on leading us on to something really interesting can't remember what but i'm just glad to have that boss fight out the way because that is the one thing i was dreading so damn much so now that's out the way the rest of the game should feel like a breeze i hope but anyway appreciate your guys love and support throughout this series you guys are awesome see ya